known as the Inspiration to Creation Coach. I'm a certified high performance coach as well as an author coach and a blog and blog to book coach. Uh, but what I do is I help people combine their passion and um, their purpose so they feel inspired and then they go out and they achieve more inspired results. They actually get inspired and they create things in the world whether it's better relationships or um, a book or an online business or a uh, more fit body. It doesn't matter. Just I help them live more fully in every way. Anyway, Today, I'm back with Monday Inspiration, and uh, as you can see behind me, um, I am down in San Diego, and the bay is behind me, and uh, I'm down here for a family wedding, and there's a lot of stuff going on. There are people surfing, there are people going to the zoo, there are people shopping, there are <laughs> people doing all kinds of things, and uh, my son is here visiting. Uh, so I haven't seen him for a while. He lives in Germany and my daughter's with me and my husband and we have lots of relatives here as well um, from England that we haven't seen for a long time and from the Sudan and it's amazing. But there's so much commotion going on, lots of things happening and um, while uh, it's a lot of fun to go hang out with everyone, um, my daughter and I decided that we would just stay in for a while. And you know, she had some things she wanted to do, and I had some things I wanted to do. And you know, I, I wanted to talk to you today from any inspiration about making that choice to take quiet time for yourself, because that's really what she and I decided. That despite all the things we could be doing, we could be actually out right now on the beach watching um, a bunch of people go surfing and hanging out with the other people who are uh, on the beach. But we decided we would just stay in, and we would. Um, rest, relax, work on some things we wanted to work on, just take the time for ourselves. And so I want to challenge you today to do that for yourself. A lot of us feel so busy all the time that we don't take time for ourselves. We don't just get quiet time. And I've been at fault of this more than probably almost anyone. I always have so much going on that I'm at my computer and I don't take quiet time to just sit and read a book or just to sit on my deck and look out at the redwoods or like here to sit uh, on the deck. This is where I am on a kind of a patio and uh, or deck and uh, you know just look out at the people Paris surfing and uh, the sailboats coming and going and people on the path below uh, or even just to sit at the beach and um, do nothing like not socialize just sit and talk and uh, think or journal so I want to uh, talk about that just for a minute um, the ways that you could actually uh, make quiet time for yourself even when you feel like you don't have time for quiet time or introspection so you know and you could call it downtime so number one um, you could get up earlier in the morning and you could make some downtime for yourself you know just get up make a cup of tea or coffee and read something inspiring or um, um, meditate or do some yoga or just sit and look at nature whether it's you know from your deck or through the window but just take a little bit of quiet time in the morning. So that's the first thing you could do. And you know, it could be 15 minutes. It doesn't have to be a long period of time. So don't feel like you have to make, you know, get up super, super early, even 10 minutes. Just take a little bit of time to just sit and be quiet, take care of yourself. Um, number two, you can actually go away. You could um, take a weekend or 24 hours and go somewhere where you know it's just you by yourself. Um, I knew a guy who he used to drive down to the beach not far from where I live and bring his journal and he would just sit out there by himself all day and journal and uh, think. And so you know you don't have to do all day. You go go somewhere quiet, you know, into the woods or to a park or to the beach or to a lake and just sit by yourself, do this on your own, and uh, spend a little time by yourself. Uh, the other thing you can do is to um, just go, you know, if you don't have a lot of money or you don't have a lot of time, um, just go for a walk in nature. You know, just take a walk and make that your downtime. You know, if you feel like, okay, I have to exercise, if, you know, if I have a little bit of time, I have to exercise or something, go for a walk. It's a great way to have some downtime, really, and just to think, and you don't have to power walk, just leisurely walk and take care of yourself. Um, also, number four, you can actually, you can spend some time at night, uh, right before you go to bed, journaling, planning your next day, and you know, sort of letting it all go. Journal about what happened during the day, or think about it, 
write down what needs to happen tomorrow, let that go, and then just take five minutes or 10 minutes to meditate or to uh, just relax, um, do some stretching before you go to bed, anything like that. So what I wanna encourage you to do is just to find a way to take care of yourself by having downtime, by having quiet time on your own. Uh, you know, you can, it, there's so many ways you can fit this in. Even if it's, you know, you, you have a hectic schedule at work, you can take um, five minutes or 10 minutes and go sit in your car and just sit. Close your eyes, deep, breathe deeply. You don't have to call it meditation. Just sit for a little while and decompress and take care of yourself. So any number of ways for you to do that. So I want you to get out of the, the um, hustle and bustle, not feel like you have to be with people, and just take some time for you. So that's my challenge to you today, and I hope you found that useful. Uh, if I can serve you in any way, please feel free to contact me at nina at ninaamir.com or just to visit ninaamir.com and see what I have to offer. Um, I would love to offer you a free certified high performance strategy session if you're interested in leveling up your life and finding other ways to kind of manage the chaos of life. So again, you can reach me at ninaamir.com. I am Nina Amir, the Inspiration to Creation Coach, and until next Monday, go out there and achieve more inspired results. Mm -hmm.